Okay, now, so we're gonna check the mailbox. It's not one cloud in the sky. Yeah, I had to put pants on, cause. Yeah. And I put my jacket on. I didn't show some. It was gonna be cold as hell in this shade. It was cold as hell in the shade. But when you get to the sun, it's a whole nother story. It actually feel good in the sun. But hopefully, something good is in the mailbox the way. If I get a picture from, I mean, not a picture, if I get a letter from my dude, I can send him his pictures. Because he was like, well, send the pictures when I get back to so there. I'm like, okay. I want to go ahead and send them. All The only thing I need to do is close the envelope and put a stamp on it. That's it. But I'm waiting until... But I'm waiting until I get a letter from him. So I can be like, okay, well, here is your letter. Send that out. I'll drop that at the post office. It's right next. says, Dear residents, we would like to inform you that the trash can that is near the mail is only for mail trash mail or mail trash. It is not for other trash. If we see anyone, we'll have a fee of $80. Did they have to put the pig up there? Common on people, pigs. What y'all think about this? Do y'all think that picture of that pig is calling the people who put trash other trash in here like that bottle right there you think that that's their way of calling them people pigs without actually saying oh you're a pig if you put trash in uh, any other trash in here i stop taking it to the dumpster i agree with the message but the people that put they didn't have to go to, to that extreme of putting the picture of that pig up there you don't have to, now y'all see. How the people in the office, how some of the people in this office at? You know, whoever printed that out, like talking about people, obviously. You don't have to call your tenants pigs. Like, you really don't have to do that. And I'm gonna, uh, let me do this while I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna feed fuck around. I forgot. I'm gonna go screenshot this. I'm gonna make a post about it. Cause you don't have to call nobody my goddamn pig. Regardless. Now they calling people pigs and shit. So hopefully I done got it. Hold on. Try one more game just in case. Okay. I'm gonna have to go and delete one but i got the second one just in case the first one didn't come out right but yeah you don't have to that's childish that is real goddamn me childish you in the office and you calling people pigs the fuck you calling your own tenants pigs just tell them that well you didn't have to put the picture of the pig you could just put the sign up there or take the picture down and put a picture of a dumpster or dollar sign a picture of uh some, anything other than a pig. You could tell them go throw it in the dumpster. The dumpster was right there because I just speaking of that. I just told me and my neighbor right here just talked about that the other day. About people throwing McDonald's bags and stuff like that. And yeah, I feel like that's not right. They should go and throw that in the dumpster. You ain't got that far to go to go throw this shit in the dumpster. Or take it in the house with you and throw it in the house. Or do like this person right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. They got a trash can on their porch. Put it right there, and that way you can roll it to the trash can. Roll it to the dumpster. But, yeah, they wrong. The tenants are wrong. That does that is wrong on that part. But they wrong. What they wrong is you didn't have to call nobody no goddamn pig for doing that. You don't have to call no. Basically, that's calling somebody out their name without actually cursing. Cussing them out. Calling them bitches and hoes and stuff. They're not doing that. But the fact that y'all calling somebody 
out their name. Y'all call them people animals and shit. So what next? You're going to call them an ass? An ass is an animal. A horse. A horse's ass. You call them pigs and shit. That's just, that's, that's just, oh y'all, I can't even get it out. That's just damn ridiculous is what it is. Shouldn't be doing no shit like that. But let you go in there, let them go, somebody go in that office and call them out their name. Oh, you can't call us out our names. But you got a whole goddamn me sign up there calling tenants pigs. The fuck? That don't make no goddamn sense. Like I said. One day, hopefully, I get my shit to get it to the point where I want to become an owner of an apartment. Or even if I just work at one in the office of an apartment, I'm not gonna sit up there and call people no pigs. Cause what you put on that sign, people can take it the way they see it, and they can take that in many a different way. So to avoid that being a misunderstanding, or you put it on there like people taking it completely the wrong way just don't put it up there if you don't put the shit up there people ain't got no other way to take it like i said they could have just took left the whole pig off of there and just put what they need to say up there put a um, warning sign up there a dollar sign a dumpster there was, or put a sign of people walk, with trash bags walking towards the dumpster you can put two pictures up there they got two up there now you can put four two at the top two at the bottom you can put something red on that. That'll draw people's attention to it. Just like the pig, the picture of the pig drew my attention to it. There's other ways to draw people's attention to something that you're trying to get them to see. Like you could put a warning sign. They could have done that. But yeah, I don't know. These, like I said, these apartments. Well, it's not the apartments. It's the people that work here. It's the people that run the office. And then, and then, hell, it might, to be honest with you, it might not even be all of them. It's probably just one specific person that's doing it because they think they're better than the people that live here. So they get to talk to people any kind of fucking way. Because, like, the previous lady that worked in the office some year, a couple years ago said, she don't have to work here. She don't have to live here. She actually sat there and told the tenant that, y'all made a video about that a while back. But, yeah, she made a video about that. I don't have to live here. And what happened? She ended up having to live here because for some other, some reason, why she ended up having to move out of the house? I think her and her dude got divorced or something. Hell, I don't know. That's just what I heard. But I'll be trying to mind my own business. Like I said, I got a lot of shit going on that I need to worry about, that I need to be trying to fix in my life. I don't need to be all up in somebody else's business. Whatever you got going on in your life, that's your business. I mean, if you want to tell me, I'll listen. I'll listen to anybody. Because that's the kind of person I am. But, yeah, you don't have to come at anybody a pig. You don't have to do that. It's back to the story at hand. No. I mean, like I said, and it, the thing is, I don't know if I'm personally reading too much into that. That's why I'm asking y'all, what do y'all think about this? I Do y'all think I'm reading too much into that? How y'all feel about that? What y'all take on that? Like, how would y'all react to this thing? If y'all was over here and y'all saw it, how would y'all react to it? Like, what would you say? What would you do? Damn, I still ain't got no letter. Put this in here. Let me get this out. I don't want to tear it. Self paper. Damn, my neighbor over here would always be. Y'all got that? Y'all got that? Y'all got that? Y'all got that? Because, trust me. She was like, oh, y'all got that? So check your ass and check your, go check your mailbox. Let me close this down. I'm just closing their mailbox, y'all. I ain't trying to steal shit out of nobody's mailbox. I'm gonna go this way. But yeah. How would y'all react to that thing? How would y'all feel about that thing? What would y'all say in response to that notice up there, whatever, sign notice, whatever the hell you want to call it? Like, what would your response be? Y'all leave that down in the comment section. This whole half of this, this whole half of this video is my response.
to that thing. I came got the package. That damn thing. Package been out there almost all damn day. That previous day, probably for the two days after that. But anyways, yeah. It's just ridiculous, y'all. It's just, I don't know. I'm gonna have to call him at the end of the week and see if he can get mail to us. Yeah. Mm. I'm getting tired of holding it. That's what I'm getting tired of doing. I want to go and send this shit out. That way he'll have his pictures and shit. He'll have them and I just left holding it. I got to worry about it. But yeah. I don't know, y'all. I'm just walking and talking and giving my opinion on shit. But yeah, so I'm going to go in the house, get comfortable, or get back comfortable, and go back to chilling. I will see y'all later. Y'all have a blessed day. Be safe. Love y'all guys. And don't forget to leave y'all's, um, how y'all would respond to that thing. Yeah. Comment on that. And do you think I'm reading too much into it or I'm overreacting to it? Let's talk about it. Bye, guys. Have a blessed day.